And we are back with your final explanation and final question before you take a few days off for our Easter break. So yesterday I gave you this two part question. First part, you need to do some math. And the second part, you're going to take those numbers and find meaning and tell me what they mean. So part A, Mary ran two miles, oops, two miles in about 23 minutes. So we'll say it was a little less than 23 minutes, like 22 and a half, but we're rounding up to 23. So she ran two miles in about 23 minutes. If she was able to keep that same pace, how long would it take her to run 10 miles? So I have two miles, 23 minutes, 10 miles. So what I'm looking for is her answer in minutes. So how long would it take her to run 10 miles? So I'm gonna set my proportion up. I've got, I can do, she can do two miles in 23 minutes. Twenty-three minutes. So we know that she's if she runs ten miles, we're looking for how long that would take her in minutes. So if I once again if I cross multiply, that leaves me with two minutes, two times minutes, or two m equals. 230, 10 times 23, 23 times one is 23, and then you put a zero on the end because we're really just moving the decimal place one place over. So 2m equals 230. So if I divide both sides by two, I'm left with m equals 100. 15. So she is, so she can run 10 miles in about 115 minutes. And remember, we said that this 23 minutes was, she was actually running it in a little bit less. So this is kind of rounding up. So 115 minutes. Now for the second part, part B. If she only has a two hour break to run, would that be enough time for her? Explain your answer. Now, the answer that I got for part A was in minutes. She has 115 minutes. Well, in order to figure out if she, if that, she has enough time, <clears throat> You can either set up another proportion. So she has two hours. How many minutes are in an hour? That's something that I need to know. Well, I know that one hour has 60 minutes. So two times 60 is going to be how many minutes? Two times zero, zero, two times six is 12. 120 minutes. So if she has a two hour window, exactly, that's two, 120 minutes, 120 is greater than 115. So <clears throat> would that be enough time for her? I'm gonna say yes. And I'm going to assume that she already has her running gear. She's already ready to go. She's been doing what we're doing of staying home and doing all of her work online. So good chance, there's a good chance that she's not dressed in a business suit. She's dressed casually like I have been dressing for the last couple of weeks. So if she is already in her running gear and she only has a two hour window, yes, she could do 10 miles in that time period. But if you said no, because she would need extra time to get ready, extra time to cool down, then theoretically you could say no and say, yes, it would only take her 115 minutes to run, but 
she's going to need a little bit of time before that to warm up, a little bit of time after that to cool down, and maybe she wants to like take a shower right after she runs so that she's not all like stinky and sweaty when she gets back to work. So either answer could be correct. It depends completely on this, on your explanation. So if you said yes, that 100, an hour, two hours is 120 minutes and she can run 10 miles in less than that, then I accept that. But if you put no, I want you to tell me why. But it's all going to depend on your explanation. It's gonna depend on what answer you got over here in part A. So I'm looking forward to, again, to rereading those of you that went back and watched this to get a little bit better idea of what I was looking for. So I'm going to now preview your final question for this week. I'm going to clear all that out. Do this. So last one for the week before you take a few days off. A two month membership to the gym costs $125. Joseph would like to be a member for eight months. If he has $400 saved, can he afford to join the gym for eight months? Please explain why or why not. So I have 125, I have eight, I have two, and I have 400. This is going to be, without even saying it, this is a two-part question. You first need to figure out how much it costs for an eight month membership. And then second, you need to determine if Joseph is able to afford that using the money that he has saved. What I'm looking for is this part right here. Please explain why or why not. Okay, so a two month membership costs one or 25. We wanna know what it costs for an eight month membership and if $400 is enough to pay for a gym membership for eight months. Explain why or why not. Might be, it seems like it's tough, but I think you guys can handle this. Knowing what I know about us, knowing what I know about you, I think you got this. And like always, if you have questions, please come find me. You've got my email, You've, most of you have my Google Voice number, you can send me a message right here saying, Mr. I really don't understand this. And I can set up a Zoom room and we can talk about it. So you have a lot of different ways of getting in touch with me or Ms. Bergio or Mr. Earl. Mr. Earl is a fantastic resource when it comes to problems like this. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to reading your responses, to looking at them. And most importantly, take some time to just relax and rest. And I will see you all next week.